Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to be taking a step back in time, but looking at a new release. This is uh, Mandriva, or Open Mandriva. And this is the rolling release called Rome. Let's take a look. Open Mandriva is a fork of Mandriva. And, man, and that was created, Open Mandriva was created in 2012. I think it was around May, somewhere around in there. And the first release that they produced was the following year, late in 2013. So it's been around a while, um, and it has roots that go even back further. But Open Mandriva Rome was released, I think it was January 6th, 2023, uh, although I did see that there was some um, early testing versions of it that were released late late last year. So this is the first rolling release for Open Mandriva, and there is another uh, variant called Rock. So if you would prefer the more traditional stable releases of Open Mandriva, you can still do that one as well. And, and in fact, it has a bit more capability actually than Open Mandriva Rome does because there are some caveats that we need to talk about when you're using Open Mandriva Rome. So Rome requires at least two gig of memory, 10 gig of hard disk. And uh, you'll see that that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. It's about what they need. Uh, graphics hardware, the KDE, it is KDE Plasma. And it does require a 3D graphics card that supports OpenGL 2.0, of course. Only VirtualBox, if you're going to put this in a virtual machine, has actually been tested. Now, I'm running it under Proxmox. It seems to run okay there, although it does seem to have some issues with Spice, the Spice driver. So, yeah, it it is not a... <laughs> it doesn't seem to work... Uh, consistently with the spice driver. In fact, it seems a little bit sluggish, but it by default will create an ext4 partition for the root and a FAT32 partition for the boot. Um, you of course can install any other file systems you want, uh, and they they list ButterFS, uh, F2FS, and uh, XFS. Of course, this one's being tested. Let's talk about the packages and re repositories for a minute. In the past, you were able to go out and edit the, you know, your your repos and and tell it which ones you want, whether they're free or non-free or any of those. So, the thing to remember about it is that um, that you don't want to go in directly and modify the configuration. So you want to use the tool. Uh, and that is the Open Mandriva repository selector. So use that one, and then you'll have far less issues with the system. Also, if you're using Rome, they do not recommend you use the Discover or the uh, DNF Dragona uh, utility to select packages. Instead, they recommend going to the command line and installing them from DNF. What do we have? For the, the, the kernel, the initial install will put out 6.1.1. Um, and we'll take a look, but I, I think that's 6.1.4 after the updates. Uh, also, systemd252, uh, also the LLVM uh, client compiler 15.06. Now, Open Mandriva was one of the first distributions that I remember that moved over to LLVM and Clang. So most of their, I believe most of their software that's on their system has been compiled using Clang. So, um, yes, Ben Utilities 2.39. Uh, there is, you, of course, have GCC available. That's 12.2. Uh, GLib 2.3. Uh, excuse me, GLib 2.36. Uh, also, Java 20 and Z Standard, which is a new uh, real-time compression algorithm, is available for Open Mandriva as well. So that should result in faster boots if you have encrypted hard drives. The KDE frameworks is 5.10 or excuse me 5.101.0, and the KDE Plasma desktop is 5.26.4, uh, KDE Gear 22.12.0, and um, QT is 5.15.7. If those things are important to you. KDE Mesa, Mesa drivers is 22.3.2. .2. Uh, 
uh, FFmpeg is 5.1.2, so it will have support for SRT if you're interested in that kind of high-speed streaming, which I am, and Pipewire uh, 3.63. I have my virtual machine set up here. 4 gig of memory, uh, 4 CPUs. Going to try Spice again. Yeah, just because I'm a glutton for punishment. 32 gig of disk. So let's give it a shot here. Okay. Let's, let me make sure that I can exit. No, I can't. So I don't really need all this. But I do want this. So let's go ahead and install it. This is Calamari's, obviously. And we'll just step down through it. Keyboard US. Good. Uh, erase the disk. Uh, you can, yeah, we can set swap to a file. And also, you can manually partition it if you don't like it uh, the way it does it. So, and we'll use the same password for the administrative and go. I'll be back when this is done. It is 13.07. It's back up, but it's, yeah, I, it, uh, it, I can't escape from this menu at all. So I'll have to turn it off when I'm done. It just, it just doesn't like it. Now, it's not a problem with the Proxmox. It works fine. It's this thing. So, all right, so we're now at 416 after the update, 426.575.01, and we have the control center. Let's see how it does. And we'll see what we get. Let's take a look at the score here. It is a 64. Just looking to see if anything in here is unique. Nope. Okay, so how much disk are we taking? I have installed a few things. 6.5 gig. That's, that's a lot, but it is KDE, and KDE does put quite a few packages out. So let's see. Um, H top 1.046 gig, and then with the app caches, we're looking at 1.35 gig. That's not bad. I guess we should look at the oh wow, they have this in here. Okay, let's put this one in. That looks good, and I suppose we should finish this off by looking at, yeah, 614, that's what it said, that's what it is. UEFI mode, which it said it would do, but there is no secure boot support for Open Mandriva, just to tell you that up front. Now one thing I want to check is, is, do I have Firefox installed or not? No. All right, we'll do that. Oh, wow, I didn't have to go through that, that, that annoying question and answer session that you always have to do. This is uh, version 105. That's nice. Thank you, Open Mandriva, for that. <laughs> right, let's, go back and, let's go back and talk about this a little bit. Uh, like I said, I, I have run the benchmarks, but I'm, I, I don't have anything to compare it with. So uh, I, I suppose maybe... I can get the second set done before this video goes up. So I'll try. I'll try to compare it with Fedora if I can if I can get everything working and get it comparing correctly. But so yeah, well I'll try to do that. I'm not making any promises though. I mean those are four hour runs, each one of them. So that's all I had for today. I, I hope you enjoyed this look at Open Mandriva. I have, this is the first time I've done a review of Open Mandriva. I'll probably come back and do Magia. And the reason why I want to do Magia is for two reasons. One is that the developer group that worked on 
the original version of Mandriva kind of split. And uh, the main group went over to do Magia, and the ones that were left kind of went off and did all open Mandriva. So they are two separate development groups, but they once were uh, one and the same. I'm sure they have new people there, too. I mean, it's been quite a few years since that split. I mean, what, 2012? So, yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, that's all I had. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you all again real soon, and bye for now.